do you personally feel it was a good idea to go over again? Yeah. It did a really stupid, masochistic, I can't believe I'm doing this again sense, but it's, um, a lot of that's more about me. I mean, I'm 52, and I'm 52 and doing a harder tour than I did at 43, or, and far harder than I did at 40 when I went to Bosnia. It's like that line in um, Apocalypse Now, you know, when I'm out there, I wish I was here, when I'm here, I wish I was out there. I hate Malakal. I hate a lot of stuff about it, but I love being there. And that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you master your own destiny, you get to do some really cool shit, and I'm just I'm overwhelmed by the history sometimes. People can stay in Rome and look at the, the Colosseum and imagine what it was like back a thousand years ago, but you can't, right? Because there's traffic and there are skyscrapers and vendors. I stand on the Nile River, and it's the Nile River, and it has basically been untouched like that for a thousand years or more. And that's when it gets to you. So even with all the, the war, the destruction, the detritus of poverty, is, this, is the natural beauty of the place still overwhelming? I thought, I thought it was just the natural beauty for its own sake, and I don't, I don't think it is anymore. I think it's because there's so... Malakal is a ghost town. It is the perfect location for a zombie shoot. Because the only people there are SPLA soldiers. Like, it's a ghost town. It's creepy. Uh, and I'll get back to the question at some point. Actually, it reminds me of driving through the Libno Valley, even in 2002, 2003 in Bosnia, where all the ethnic cleansing went on. No birds. Nothing. Just overgrown, abandoned, burned out farms for miles. Because it had been mined like crazy afterwards, so nobody went back. But it's empty like that. And this is a city. This was Sudan's second city. Um, so compare that to every day is just a fun adventure. Um, it could be, hey, we got 300 IDPs and the SPLA are not going to let the males into the camp. To, hey, there was an abduction of nine, nine cows and three people and we need to know something about that. It, it's just there's so much shit around it that when you can just look at something that's kind of just swampy and see the birds nice bright colors and the stuff. That's, I think, the beauty of it is just that it's, it's just this really nice green swamp and this kind of green brown massive river that's the White Nile and it's got so much history behind it and I just don't have to turn around and look at all the garbage going on behind me. Maybe that's why it's nicer. Something to kind of root yourself in. It's birds are, yeah, the, the birds and the animals are just gorgeous. These little geckos that run around and it's really, Absolutely beautiful stuff. Some of the natural flowers that seem to grow out of the swamp are, are gorgeous.